Hi everyone, welcome to the RPB Residence Chemistry. Now let's continue our lectures on GOC series number 3, that is uh, lecture number 3. Today we are going to deal with uh, like energy profile diagrams in organic reactions. Okay, so that is the topic. Uh, so energy profile diagrams, that means energy diagrams in organic reactions. So before going to the topic, uh, now let us in, I, I would like to discuss the two molecules. So uh, right side, it is a, like, a, like a sugar moiety, that is nothing but a glucose. In left side, it is a isoartane. So these two are uh, they're far away, like a, a far difference between the, these two structures. One is a, a glucose moiety, like a sucrose moiety, or uh, any type of sugar moieties. One of the type of sugar moieties, and it is isoactane moieties. Isoactane. So these two are very far structural structural difference, but uh, these two are having the common future. What is that? So whenever these two are undergoing the oxidation reaction, they, they both are uh, releases the energy. They both are releases the energy. But uh, isoactane it re it releases the like uh, it burns the gasoline form to use it as automobiles. It is used as the automobile energy. Now in the glucose, it is metabolized in the body. It is metabolized in the body, and it is uh, it provides the some energy. That energy used as an exercise. It is used as a exercise. Both releases the energy, but the energy function is different. Both the releases the energy, but the energy function is different. So those energy details discussed in our lectures. Okay, are you clear? Now let's move on to the topic. That is uh, energy profile diagrams. Energy profile diagrams. So now let's move on to the uh, like energy profile diagrams. That means here it is the reactant. Now reactant can convert into product. Okay, so the left side starting material is called reactant and the conversion it forms the new product new uh, like a new compound that is called product. Okay, now however the way how it is formed the new product uh, the way of reaction the way of reaction is called mechanism or pathway is called mechanism or pathway so the way of the reaction okay now here based on the mechanism the reactions are two types reactions are two types so like a concerted mechanism and a non-concerted mechanism concerted mechanism and a non-concerted mechanism okay now here concerted mechanism means uh, without any significant intermediates so reactants directly converts into product uh, those type of reactions are called uh, concerted reactions uh, without intermediate without uh, intermediate so it is simply it is called as concerted so with intermediate is nothing but uh, with intermediate is nothing but a non concerted mechanism so without intermediate means uh, directly the uh, rate of reaction uh, sorry the, the reactant molecules directly can convert into product and then it is called a concerted mechanism let us uh, let us imagine reactant we use raised to the product there is no intermediate but it may be possible to form the like a transition state it may be possible to it, to go through the uh, transition state but here definitely it forms the intermediate then only it forms it gives the product it converts the product so those type of reactions are called cons non concerted mechanism so simply all the type of pericyclic reactions are concerted mechanisms without intermediate they forms the product so it fo it follows the cyclic transition step that's why it is called as pericyclic okay so pericyclic reactions are example for the concerted mechanism okay uh, like a normal reaction any type of intermediate formation reactions are called a non-concerted mechanism they are comes under non-concerted mechanism so this is the simplest uh, basic definition regarding to the mechanism now let's move on to the energy profile diagrams in organic reactions Okay, now let's move on to the uh, like our energy profile diagram. So energy profile is nothing but a plot between the like uh, energy versus uh, reaction coordinates. A plot between a plot uh, like uh, a plot between energy versus uh, reaction coordinates. Energy versus uh, reaction coordinates. Now here energy taken in the y-axis taken on the y-axis. Let's let's imagine. So here it is the energy. Okay, so this energy taken in y axis. Now it is the like reaction coordinates on x axis. Reaction coordinates. Okay, now here it is the energy. Okay, so this is the energy versus uh, reaction coordinates. Now let us uh, let us take the simple reaction, general reaction. So now here A B can treat it with C minus 
that means it is a nucleophile now it forms the like a uh, a minus plus bc a minus plus bc so this is the simplest re uh, re general representation general reaction representation now here a b can converts into bc so these are the reactant species uh, and it forms the like a bc it forms the bc now let us take the reactant itself it having the some energy reactant itself it having some energy so that's why reactant placed over there okay so now this is the reactant energy so reactant energy it reaches the like a maximum energy it reaches the maximum energy and uh, instantaneously it converts into products so simply uh, instantaneously it converts into product this is the maximum energy barrier maximum energy barrier okay so this is the like a b plus c minus this is the a minus plus b c okay now here this is the reactant molecule so one of the bond is broken so this is the this bond is broken this bond is broken okay now here the b c here the new bond is formed new bond is formed okay now what is the major difference you know one one bond one bond is breaked in reactant species and another new bond is formed in the uh, like a product species okay but uh, here the reactants directly cannot convert into products it it goes through the some of the transition state it goes through the some of the transition state so those are transition state are represented like this okay so a it is nothing but a b like a c okay simply it is the transition state now here a it is a negative and b is a positive c is a negative so this bond is a, like a slightly broken this bond is partially broken partially broken so this bond is partially formed partially formed okay so this is the like a transition state now here it is a, it is partially broken bond and it is partially formed bond this is nothing but a, a transition state this is nothing but a transition state so those transition state absorbed at a higher energy level that is the maximum energy level those maximum energy is called a transition state those maximum energy is called a transition state so these transition state are represented in the like a energy profile diagram as a like this transition state so simply transition state is nothing but uh, the maximum energy of a reactant species the maximum energy of a reactant species once cross over the these energy barriers it can convert into products okay sometimes the reactant molecules reaches highest energy some of the molecules of a reactant species uh, which can return to the their original position and some of the molecules can converts into like a, it's a, it's a new products so new new materials that is nothing but products okay now some of the uh, some of the molecules which reaches uh, like a original position those are the unreacted species uh, and another molecules and uh, some of the other molecules which can produce the like uh, which can produce the new material that is nothing but a uh, products okay so this is the simplest representation of uh, like a energy profile diagram now here so the reactant energy reaches the maximum energy so that is uh, simply represented as like a uh, energy of activation energy of activation it is simply represented as ea it is simply represented as ea so the difference between the energy of reactants and products is called delta g or delta h here the free energy or heat of energy released or absorbed so simply thermodynamic term is delta g so delta g is nothing but a free work function so which is simply in reaction coordinates in according to our kinetic terms that is represented as delta h okay sometimes it is released or sometimes it is absorbed okay so this is the delta h so delta h is nothing but the difference between the reactant and product energy okay so delta h related to the positions of reactant and react uh, like a uh, products uh, but ea related to the like uh, activation energy that means the, the rate of the reaction okay so here how much of the speed how much of the speed of the reaction that means the speed of the reaction is nothing but rate of the reaction but uh, like delta h is uh, uh, relatively observed based on the delta h it is the positions of reactant as well as a product okay now let's move on to the like those terms activation energy and the like a uh, delta h value okay 
So this is the term. E is equal to activation energy. E is equal to activation energy. Now delta H is equal to like a uh, energy released or absorbed. Energy released or absorbed. Okay, sometimes uh, the energy it may be absorbed in this time it is energy will be uh, like a uh, removed. Okay, so now here what we learned in the new terms in uh, reaction mechanism is reactant we know that products are also know that but uh, here the new term is the transition state and the activation energy delta H related to the organic chemistry. Okay, now here a reactant molecule it is this simple reactant molecule it converts into products. Okay, now it generally it fall it forms through the like it follows through the a transition state. Okay, so in generally reactants converts into product. The product can be isolated in the form of like uh, organic techniques like a uh, chromatography or uh, like any like a uh, HPLC methods any method. Okay, any one of the method. So product can be isolated, but uh, the maximum energy state that is nothing but a transition state cannot be isolated cannot be isolated. Okay, it cannot be isolated. Okay, so this is the point. Now the activation energy. So if the activation energy is maximum, that means uh, the reactant requires more and more energy. If it requires more energy, that is the slower reaction. So if more Ea is more than slow reaction, then slow reaction. Are you clear? Okay, so if the Ea energy, like activation energy requires less, that means, uh, so here the activation energy is uh, smaller, then it is the faster reaction, then it is the faster reaction. Ea is a uh, smaller, like it is the faster reaction. It is the a faster reaction. So based on the energy, it is related to the slow and fast, that means the speed of the reaction. Speed is nothing but uh, like a rate of a reaction. Rate of a reaction. Now sometimes if the reactant energy like a reactant energy it is a higher than that of the product. Is it clear? So product energy somewhere over here that, that means uh, let us assume here it is the 5. So reactant energy is 10. That means a uh, reactant en energy is higher than that of the product energy. So that means uh, like a uh, reactant energy is higher than that of the product energy. That means uh, it releases the some energy. So those releasing, releasing of energy releasing of energy is nothing but uh, exothermic reaction and the absorbing of energy is nothing but endothermic reaction endothermic reaction so these are the simple terms these are the simple terms so whenever we observe a single like a, a transition state reaction mechanism reactants can convert into products so through the and as transition state the transition state so uh, the transition state like a uh, energy between the reactant and the transition that is a maximum energy barrier so that is called like activation energy activation energy so again the difference between the two like reactant and product energies are nothing but delta h okay this is the simplest uh, reaction profile diagrams now let's move on to the like uh, some of the examples regarding to the these energy diagrams some of the different uh, different react like a uh, energy profile diagrams okay now let's move on to the like different different energy diagrams okay some some of the simpler energy diagrams now so here it is the like a first diagram and the second diagram let us compare these two diagrams so here it is the reaction coordinates reaction coordinates on x-axis energy on y-axis so energy on y-axis okay so now here it is the reactant so here this is the diagram this is the diagram so this simply it is nothing but a this is called an activation energy so this is called a delta h now here the product energy is greater than the like a reactant energy so energy of a product is greater than that of the energy of a reactant simply it is called uh, it absorbs the energy it absorbs the energy absorbing energy okay now again here also we will take the same similar type of example but uh, here also like a uh, energy of a product is greater than that of the like a reactant energy of a product is greater than that of the reactant okay now here but uh, now here the activation energy is a smaller than the first one the activation energy is a smaller than the first one so this is the like a uh, energy profile diagram so when compared to these two energy profile diagrams so this is the ea1 this is the ea2 now what we observe so in case of these two so ea1 is greater than that of the ea2 
so that means which one is a higher energy so ea1 is the higher energy so higher energy means it requires a lot of energy so lot of energy consumption will takes more time so that's why it is a slower reaction so simply it is nothing but a, it is the slow reaction slow reaction so now again the delta h that is a free energy function that is a simply enthalpy of energy heat of energy so here heat of energy it absorbs the heat of energy that means it requires the heat of energy so that is nothing but a delta h is equal to positive so if delta h is equal to positive that means it is nothing but a, it is an endothermic reaction endothermic reaction now i use the simple trick regarding to the endo and exothermic uh, like uh, representations okay now here also it is uh, activation energy is lesser so here ea is smaller ea is the very smaller then it is the faster reaction then it is the faster reaction again third one so delta h is equal to common for both the reactions delta h both the reactions are positive so sometimes delta h is positive then it is called endothermic reaction not the exothermic endothermic reaction so these two reactants will show the uh, like uh, endothermic reactions uh, as well as uh, like uh, different different activation energy one is the slower reaction another one is the faster reaction it requires the more energy it requires the less energy so whenever the less amount of energy required that means less amount of activation energy are required then it is the faster reaction so more amount of energy are required then it is the like a slower reaction now let's move on to the like another example another two examples regarding to the uh, these type of uh, reactions now here another energy profile diagram so here also another energy profile diagram okay now here it is the reactant this is the energy now here also this is the energy okay so energy versus reaction coordinates energy versus reaction coordinates okay so now here this is called activation energy 2 so this is called activation energy okay so here both the activation energies are different but both are like here reactant energy always greater than that of the product energy so now here e r greater than that of the ep e r greater than that of the ep so here also e r greater than that of the ep so if e product is greater than that of the e r then it is called endothermic so if e reactant is greater than that of the ep then it is nothing but a exothermic reaction that means here the releasing the energy here it is the releasing the energy so releasing energy is nothing but a, like um, exothermic reactions exothermic reactions okay now let's move on to this example now here it is activation energy is higher so if activation energy is larger so then it is a slow reaction then it is a slow reaction so then here delta h is equal to negative so delta h is negative then it is called exothermic reaction so that means here it releases the energy that means it releases the energy in similarly let us compare these equation so now here activation energy is a smaller so ea is a very like a smaller smaller energy then automatically it is the faster reaction then it is the faster reaction so if it is the faster reaction so now here delta h is a negative so whatever the activation energy but delta h is a negative if delta h is negative then automatically it is the exothermic reaction then it is exothermic reaction let's say on the four four diagrams so now what we observe so if the more more activation energy is there then it is a slower reaction low activation energy is there then it is faster reaction okay now activation energy and delta h both are independent variables both are independent to each other so activation energy and delta h both are independent variables independent variables so independent variables to each other why because so if sometimes uh, some of the reaction if both are dependent so if activation energy increases delta h increases or decreases somewhat related sometimes uh, so if activation energy is larger and uh, delta h is something let us assume here 10 kilocalories so but uh, if activation energy is smaller here also it is a 10 kilocalories sometimes okay it happens so that means delta h it is independent itself uh, rather than the activation energy so that means uh, here it is not dependent on the activation energy that is the major point okay so this is the a single step reaction energy profile diagram now let's move on to the uh, multi step like a uh, two step reactions as well as multi step reactions okay now let's move on to the like two step reaction energy profile diagrams
okay now let's move on to the like multi step uh, reaction mechanism simply we will go through the, the two step reaction mechanism two step reaction mechanism okay so two uh, general reaction previous reaction let us take the, those are two uh, simple reaction so here a b will treat it with c minus that is a uh, two electrons is nothing but simply represented by the neg in the form of a negative so which can converts into like a a negative plus b to c so now here it is the bond breaking and the bond making takes place one of the one of the bonds are uh, broken and another new bond is formed okay so this is simply explained by the two uh, two reactions so that is a uh, like two steps step one and step two step one and step two so now here the step one is nothing but a uh, like a bond breaking so simply here it is nothing but bond breaking okay so in case of bond breaking so a b first of all so a b can convert into simply like a a negative so this is the like a transition state a negative like it is a like a b positive a negative and a b positive so after the after getting the transition state forms the like a a negative charge and a b positive charge this is the simplest reaction through the like a transition state this is the step one okay now the step two so here the bond formation step so here a bond making so like it is bond formation step so here like a b plus which are produced in the step one so which is treated with a c minus now here simply it it, it forms the like a, it uh, goes through the transition state now here b positively charged and c is a negatively charged species like it is the transition state so then after it forms the like a b to c so then it forms the b to c now here a b it gives the a negative and b positive so these positive b positive will treat it with c minus and it forms the b c so now here new bond is making new bond is making now here a b bond is dissociated bond is dissociated now let's draw the those two two steps in individual reaction profiles that is the energy diagrams okay now here this is the reaction coordinates this is the energy this is the energy okay now here the a b reactant energy over somewhere over here so this is the a b reactant energy it cross over the highest energy barrier okay now here the question is whether it is endothermic reaction or exothermic reaction so bond breaking so whenever we will break the anything any material like a stick or a, like a marker if you want to break the this marker it is not breaking okay now if you want to break this marker it requires some energy now i use some energy then only it is break okay then it is broken okay so now the uh, like a breaking that is a broken up for any bonds so it requires the some amount of energy so that's why the requirement of energy is nothing but a like a endothermic reaction so here it is the endothermic reaction this is the transition state so this is the nothing but a like in a highest energy state so here it is positively like a positive negative charge and a, like a partial positive charge now here it is the a negative and b positive a negative and b positive this is the first step so this is the like a, here it is the like a activation energy here it is the like a delta h here it is the delta h of a first step reaction so here a negative and b positive okay this is the simple first step reaction now let's let's discuss the like a second energy profile diagram so this is the reaction coordinates versus energy now here uh, this is the b plus is the high, almost all higher level energy here it is the a negative and b positive b positive over there so this is the like energy of b positive this is the like energy of b positive so these b positive will treat will like this this is the like an exothermic reaction this is nothing but exothermic reaction why because b positive will treat it with c minus and it forms the like breaking so whenever whenever the combination of two things it gives the some energy it, it releases the some energy like bond making always releases some energy and breaking it requires some energy so that's why simple statement a bond breaking it, it is an endothermic reaction bond making it is an exothermic reaction so that's why it is an exothermic reaction okay so this is the b plus well this is treated with a c minus and over here it forms the like a partially po uh, like positive charge on b partial negative charge on c now it forms the complete uh, product of b to c okay so this is the activation energy this is the activation energy ea2 so this is the like a, a delta h okay so this is the step one reaction profile diagram and step two reaction profile diagram okay now here it is the like a endothermic reaction why because so the bond formation bond formation requires energy it requires 
energy. Now here it is an exothermic reaction. So exothermic reaction is nothing but a bond like here, sorry, here bond breaking. So now bond formation, it releases energy. It releases energy. That is nothing but a, like it releases the energy. So that's why these are two steps. One is the step one, in, uh, one is the step one and another one is the step two. Okay. Now here commonly, so B plus is the B plus which is, uh, which is uh, obtained from the first step one. But it is consumed over the step two. Okay, are you clear? So B plus, okay, uh, B plus, which is obtained from the step one, but it is uh, consumed in the step two. So uh, among these two species, uh, one is uh, uh, used in the two steps. Uh, the commonly used in two steps. Uh, that is nothing but an intermediate. So B plus is the intermediate. B plus is the an intermediate reaction. Okay, so this is the two-step reaction. Simply, two-step reaction. So A to B, which, which converts into A minus and B plus. So this B plus will treat it with C minus and it forms the B C. Okay, this is the simplest reaction. Now let's combine these two energy profile diagrams in a single reaction coordinates. In a single reaction coordinates. Okay, now here this is the energy, so this is the reaction coordinates. Okay, so the re a, a to B, this is the reactant, so here like a reactant. Okay, it is the like first step reaction. Now the second step, it, it is the lesser energy than the first one. Okay, now here this is the second step. So now, uh, for our clarity, I'll draw the, I'll redraw the uh, like a reaction. Okay. This is the reaction. Okay. Now here A to B. Now here it is partially like a A pos a negative charge and a, like a B partial negative charge. Okay. Now here it is A plus and B sorry a minus and b plus now here again the, at the intermediate state now we use the another uh, like another species that is incoming species uh, c minus now here it is the a minus is the leaving species okay so these three are used so this is the reaction intermediate now another transition state uh, here it is the like a b positive pos partially b positive charge and the c is partial negative charge c on a partial negative charge now here this is the reaction so this is nothing but b to c it is nothing but b to c now this is the like an imaginary line so this is nothing but a activation energy first ea1 so this is nothing but a activation energy 2 ea2 so now here so this is the like energy profile so here the reactant and product so the difference between the reactant and product energy is nothing but a delta h naught so delta h naught overall so this is the overall delta h naught overall delta h naught reaction okay so this is the simplest representation this is the like a first step and the second step okay now here the maximas that means uh, like a uh, top of the position that is nothing but a uh, transition states are nothing but maximas and intermediates are minimas in a multi-step reaction that is that is the simplest uh, uh, like a uh, remembering point okay now here it is the transition state one it is the transition state two so like here it is the intermediate it is the intermediate okay now among these uh, th among these three transition states now here it is the like third one that is uh, sorry so this is the bottom lowest energy one is the intermediate lowest energy one is the intermediate so this is the simplest representation of uh, a two-step reaction mechanism okay so this is the overall reaction this is the activation energy number one so this is the activation energy number two that is the like a first step first step activation energy second step activation energy now here two activation energies are there in previous case only one activation energy is there that's why we will predict the like a uh, rate of reaction now in case of uh, like more than one activation energy is there more than one activation energies are there so activation energies are different activation energies these two are not equal okay so if here two activation energies are there these two activation energies are different activation energies now it requires uh, now we wanted to uh, like uh, determine the rate of reaction of these type of energy profile diagrams uh, now we need uh, some of the like uh, some of the in uh, some new points okay now here it is the activation energy one it is the activation energy two so activation energy always determines the rate of a reaction okay so however the highest activated energy, the highest energy of transition state in case of multi-step reactions, multi-step reactions, okay. So the highest 
highest energy transition states transition states or plate determining step is plate determining step okay simply highest energy is nothing but uh, activation energy is more when whether it is a slower reaction or it is a faster reaction absolutely it is the slowest uh, slower reaction simply chemical kinetics terminology simply the slowest reaction is a rate determining step slowest reaction is rate determining rate determining step simply it is nothing but rds okay are you clear so the highest energy in multi step reaction that is nothing but rate determining step let us examine yourself here it is the linear reaction it is multiple step reaction so now among these two so which is the which is the more uh, like which is the intermediate which is the like a slow step reaction absolutely it is the a to b p to c c to d so now here it it goes through the two reactive intermediates two reactive intermediates and three transition states three transition states now here so the first one is the highest energy transition state that's why this is the slow step this is the slow step sometimes it may be possible okay so it is rarely possible these type of reaction profile diagrams why because uh, so this much of energy requirement is uh, it it requires a lot of energy that's why these type of diagrams are not observed uh, rarely okay so the highest energy diagrams the highest energy transition states are the slow step reaction okay now here two intermediates are there but three transition states are there so simply i'll give the simple uh, like a simple thing so the number of transition states number of transition states is equal to the number of intermediates plus 1 is equal to the number of intermediates plus one very simple thing okay so this is the simple thing now let's move on to the you know, another words like here uh, transition states is nothing but maximus in a wave so in a wave wave, wave wave studies it is maximus so it is maximum minima maximum minima maximus like that okay now here in in case of these type of this is not the like a uh, minimus this is the like a uh, ending point okay so he simply the number of maximus number of maximus is equal to the number of minima plus one number of minima plus one so this is the simplest uh, like a uh, uh, representation of uh, those multi step reactions those multi step reactions now uh, let us let us go through the one of the previous year csr problem that is very helpful for predicting the those reactive uh, reaction intermediates okay now let's move on to the one of the example Okay, guys. Now this is the December two thousand eighteen CSIR question. December two thousand eighteen CSIR for two mark question. The question is in the energy profile diagram of the reaction given below. So they are given in the energy profile diagram. Okay, the species A. So the species A here. This is the species A. would correspond to the position which position the species a which correspond to the whether it is first position or second position third position or fourth position in energy profile diagram okay so they are given in the second reaction so this is the benzene will treat it with ester, uh, like a uh, uh, acyl chloride will gives the like um, acetophenone simply it is gives the acetophenone now the positions options they are given in the four options whether it is first position or second position or third position or fourth position okay now let's go through the like a complete mechanism okay This is the mechanism. Okay, now here CH three CO Cl, so which is treated with AlCl three, so it forms the CH three C triple bond O positive. So simply it is the positive. So this is the like a uh, acyl intermediate. Now which is treated with our benzene, which is treated with our benzene. Okay, now here CH three C double C triple bond O. Here it is the positive charge. Simply it is represented as a like a C triple bond O positive. CH3. This is the methyl group. Okay. Now the bonded two electrons will shift towards the one of the atom in benzene, one of the carbon atom in benzene. So this is the negative charge. So this is the positive charge, electrophilic center of carbon atom. So here it is the positive charge. So the negative and the positive charges interacted to each other. Now it forms the like this type of a transition state. C double bond O methyl. Here it is the hydrogen. Okay. Now the bonded two electrons. This is only interaction, not the any intermediate formation. Okay. Now here these positive charge will shifted over here. So this is the positive charge. This is the positive charge. Okay. This is the simplest transition state number one. 
transition state number one. So after that, uh, so the bonded two electrons, this is the bonded two electrons. Whenever the bonded two electrons will shift it towards the one of the atom, then it becomes a negative and it is positive. So that negative will goes through the positive, will, will attack the positive and it forms this type of bond. Okay, now we observe this type of bond. So COCH3, this is the hydrogen, okay, bond, bond, positive. So bond bond positive so this is then in uh, like a positive intermediate so these positive charge will stabilized by the adjacent double bonds so that is nothing but a resonance stabilization resonance stabilization that's why these positive charge can contribute to these all, all over the five carbons all over five carbons simply it is called a sigma complex okay this sigma complex will treat it with a like alcl4 minus this is then like a, it is a base okay now here the negative uh, negative uh, negative species this interact with hydrogen atom now the bonded two electrons will shift it towards the like benzene ring okay now here it lost the two electrons over there so now those bonded two electrons which gained from the ch single bond okay now here again it forms the another type of intermediate okay so this is the like intermediate so here it is the like a resonance stabilization the bonded two electrons will gained by the benzene atom then it is uh, satisfied that means the uh, six electrons are over there okay so this is the transition state number two okay this is the higher energy level so then after we use it this alcl4 minus so this is the this is over here alcl4 minus will obstruct the proton then bonded two electrons will goes to the like benzene atom now here it is the like a simplest product co ch3 so this is the product okay now let us draw the a plot regarding to the, our reaction so here it is the like energy and the reaction coordinates okay so the starting position this is the reactant species now which reaches the uh, transition state one this is the higher energy level this is the transition state one okay so then it it goes through the like a, a formation of a sigma complex this is the sigma complex and it reaches the another transition state number two okay now it it uh, goes down to the like a formation of a product it goes down to the formation of a product this is the product okay now here it is the transition state one sigma complex transition state two product simplest reaction okay now here they are represented the a a is nothing but a sigma complex sigma complex pr presented over here so that means appeared over here so this is the second position first position third position fourth position okay these are the four positions okay now they are represent the Sigma complex, a sigma complex position number. They are asking about a sigma complex position number that is the B. So this is the answer. Okay. If you know the like aromatic electrophilic substitution reaction, di directly you will go through the, this is an intermediate. Intermediate always plus at the like middle of the position. That means minimum of the two transition state. Minimum of the two transition state. So that is simple simplest answer. Okay. This is the option number two. That is option number B is correct answer. Okay. That's all for this video. In this video, we have discussed a, a complete analysis on like energy profile diagrams and their uh, like a uh, single step and uh, multi step reactions two step to three step reactions okay if you if you have any doubt regarding to the, these energy profile diagrams please mention in comment box i'll explain in the next video thank you so much for watching